Hello everyone, and welcome to the Cauliflet tutorial video. In this video, I will be giving you an overall look at how to play this character, how I like to play this character, as well as showing you some tech, guides, crush cannon cancels, <clears throat> and just giving you an overall idea of what to do with this girl. Because I... I don't think I've seen much people play this girl, to be honest. And she is... it's honestly... It's honestly almost criminal that nobody plays this character because... Yes, she's not a freaking free boy like... Some characters. But... She is, uh... She is an overall solid character that has good combos. That work online, thank god. Especially considering she's a paid DLC. Uh, <clears throat> she's not a pay to win character like Blue Gogeta. She has good supers that are very fun, very unique. Aside from this, this isn't very unique because this is a move that's been in the game uh, since uh, last, uh, I think two years ago actually, is when Kefla and Baby came out. <clears throat> But uh, anyway, let's get into it. I'm just going to be teaching you, uh, I'm not going to show the normal stuff. I'll show you the stamina breaks first. <clears throat> and I'll show you some basic and advanced combos, as well as some tech. And just giving you an overall idea on what to do with this girl. In terms of setups, mix-ups, and how to get into your opponent's head. In a fight. <clears throat> Excuse me. I actually tried this video earlier, but the video did not fully record because technology. Of course, uh, let's see it. Stamina break wise. She of course has this. But that's basically universal for every character. There are, uh, there are only a select few characters that cannot do this. Pycon. Uh, Pycon can do this, uh, let's see, but they're, uh, I can't remember, I can't remember exactly who can't do this. There are some characters that cannot do it, but most characters can. The m majority of these, the roster in this game are able to just tap you and stamina break you. And, uh, no, just in case you're wondering, she cannot heavy stamina break after this. She might actually have possibly one of the worst heavy stamina breaks in the game, unfortunately. Though, then again, <clears throat> sh honestly, I don't even know why they included this mechanic in the game. It doesn't really serve a purpose anymore, especially considering they nerfed how long you're stunned after you get hit by it. <clears throat> but um, uh, before I get into a tangent, let, let me get back into it. Uh, she also has this. Which is just two heavies. Three heavies. She has that, and this will work in the air as well. And I'll go ahead and show you that. And this also works online. She has a very fast light stamina break, so she's able to perform that. Then you also have this one. Oh wait, hold on a sec. Hmm, wait a minute. Oh, okay, never mind. It's not the stun isn't consistent on this headbutt here. Maybe after that. Let me try that real quick. Oops. Hold on. No. No, that does not work either. Uh, and then her last stamina- and then her uh, last couple stamina ranks, she has this. Which is probably the main one you're going to do a lot. It's the easiest to perform. It's- it's also, it also happens to be on her best combo. And it is, it also just, uh, 
<clears throat> it's also our safest option. Then you've also got this. And then you've got this. Okay, th those are those are all of her stamina break setups. She has a good amount of them, and they're pretty easy to perform. Unfortunately, she does not have any heavy stamina break setups, and I will go ahead and show you that. This whiffs all the time, even online. And I'll show you the other one as well. Always whiffs, no matter how fast I do it, and I did it pretty much immediately right there. Even if I block cancel this combo. No, it does not work. So yeah, unfortunately she cannot com she cannot combo into this, but there really is no need for it. Uh, in my opinion, this this mechanic is just pointless. But uh, now we're going to get into just basic and advanced combos. Uh, one combo one combo that you can do is this. Oops, hold on a sec, I did it wrong. Ah, hold on, let me put him off of that real quick. Just put him on standing real quick. Oops. Ah, I forgot the. That's one combo you can do. And you can extend her combo with a key blast. She is fast enough to perform this successfully, even online. You can even do this, I think. And that, uh, yeah, you can do that, and recovery is on. So yeah, that does combo. And you can also just think. Okay, never mind. No, you can't do that. Uh, you can also do this. And this. She has a good amount of extensions, and I do believe that after this, you can also extend. Yes, you can. Then you also, of course, have... Her little, uh... You have a block cancel right there. That's her only block cancel besides, uh... Crush cannon cancels, which I'm going to show you later. And then, uh, let's see here. I do believe you can also, uh, get it after this. Yep. And of course, if you want to do it faster, just key blast. But, you could just key blast, but, uh, after this combo, actually, you cannot shoot a key blast. After you do this, after you launch them with this combo, you cannot immediately key blast. You have to wait. So if you wanna if you wanna continue the combo with a key blast, you have to do it like this. But that's pretty much it in terms of just like her basic her basic uh, bread and butter combo. Because she's fast enough, she can extend that with key blasts. But that's just because she's fast enough. That normally would not be possible, but it's just because she's... I think she's the second fastest character in the game, right behind uh, base Gogeta, whenever her Super Soul is activated. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. Now I'm just going to show you, uh, I'm going to show you, uh, basic ultimate setup combos and super setup combos. You've of course got Ray Blast. Which is also an infinite combo. Oh, setup that you can do. And then you've also, uh, and then you've got, uh, then you can also do this, of course. Excuse me. I did not press that many buttons, game. You can do that, set up an unvanishable ultimate. 
If you want to do it, you can also combo in the impulse slash with this. But uh, I would not recommend doing this outside of stammer breaks because they can vanish out of it and they can evasive out of it and punish you if they're fast enough. Uh, it, it, it's hard to punish this impulse slash. It's not like Habba's where it's slow as molasses. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, one setup that you can do uh, with with the uh, advantage for ultimate here is this. You can do this. Mash that burst dash button and then go into crush cannon. That will combo if the wall is anywhere near them like that. And I do believe it'll work out. I do believe it'll just work overall from here as well. Yep. It'll work anywhere on the map. So you burst dash immediately after that. And recovery is on. <clears throat> they cannot roll out of that. Now there is more stuff that you can do with that. Uh, but that will involve crush cannon castles, and I will show you that uh, in a bit. But first, I'm going to also show you this. Uh, the best setup to use double crush is after this combo. You can either do it raw, or you can do it by adding one of these. Though I would always charge it at least twice before unleashing it because uh, what you just saw right there it sometimes doesn't even stun it sometimes doesn't even knock them away and just stands them back up and you don't want that and of course everybody knows that you can either you can either launch it or you can set it up and launch it later what I like to do personally is whenever I set this up I'll just let it sit there and then I'll do a reverse burst dash and then if my opponent is really really stubborn or tries to dodge that burst dash and they actually dodge me I'll immediately launch it and punish them for it and that sets up all sorts of game mind games and pressure that I will get into in a bit <clears throat> that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much her basic combos she's very she's got very simple basic fun but also but very effective combos now I'm going to get into the advanced the more advanced side of her and that and this is honestly what keeps me playing this character and what makes me like her so much is that she's she's uh, a combination of brute force and technicality and that is because of this People know that this move has the potential to one shot when it's charged 18 times. But, <clears throat> you're pretty much never going to be able to do this and just stand around and charge it. So people know that you can stack the charge, but I have only seen one other individual, I have only seen one other, ugh, one other individual, excuse me, I cannot freaking talk. I have only seen one other individual that has done this. <clears throat> Crush Cannon Cancel to extend the combos. And some people may say, what's the benefit of that? It costs one bar of key. Well, <clears throat> excuse me, key? It may cost one bar of key, but not only does she gain key very fast, especially in her best combos, but every single time you charge, the, every single time you uh, cancel this thing, it charges it one time. And of course, that's going to uh, really scare the shit out of your opponent because it's going to make them fear and dread that you're just going to let this fly after any combo and melt their health bar. It's also just faster 
than a freaking uh, key blast cancel in my opinion because a key blast cancel in order to turn around you have to do this with a crush cannon I can immediately just turn around and start hitting you in the face I don't even have to I don't have to back back hit or anything I can immediately just turn around like that like this here Oh wait, hold on a sec. <laughs> I turned key to normal. See how I immediately turned around right there? That is way faster than a key cancel. Yes, I know that you can do this. You can immediately go and do that, but Look at how fast this is. I can immediately turn around. There's no end lag or anything. So yeah, it has a lot of benefits. But the main benefit is just the fact that it sets up a lot more infinites. Sets up a lot more infinites and it sets up a lot more mind games because of how much damage this thing can do. That one infinite that you can do is this. It's very simple, and that's probably the most, uh, that's probably the infinite that you're going to use the most. And it's also the combo that you're going to use the most to Q cancel out of and crush cannon out of. <clears throat> then you also have this. And then you also have this one here. And you can do this in the air, of course. If I want to, I can do this in the air. And the thing that I like to do personally is this. Let's do stuff like that. Sets up a lot of uh, different combo routes that you normally would not have access to. This in particular. And the next thing I'm going to show you. If you can do it really fast, you can do it like this. You can just completely make an infinite out of jabs. Out of just one single heavy. It's... It's, it, it, it really is amazing that she's able to do this. It makes it, it makes baby's variant drive cancel look like baby like a like a freaking baby's toy. It's it's just so good. It's so freaking good. And I'm gonna show you another setup here real quick. Uh, one of the things that you can do as well is uh, after this, if you are not going to kill with this, If you delay that burst dash, if you delay that burst dash, you can do stuff like this. Immediately start applying more pressure by crush burst dashing and then crush can canceling immediately. It's amazing what you can do with this thing. And of course it can also apply guard pressure. And you can all, if your opponent's also trying to constantly just guard, you can also, uh, whenever they're trying to just constantly do this, to try and get out of your little guard pressure, because, you know, people be doing this all the freaking time. Hate this mechanic. If I want to, I can do stuff like this, get behind them, or I can do this. Immediately go into a grab by using a crush cannon. <clears throat> it sets up so much stuff that you can do. Alright, now we're going to go into uh, optimal combos and techs. Now, one 
one uh one optimal combo that you can do here is this this is probably the one that you're going to do the most if you just want to kill your opponent i'm going to put him on z vanish If you just want to kill your opponent, you're going to do this combo. Most of the time, uh, <laughs> you're just going to straight kill them because of how much damage that does. And then you've also got this. And that will almost always kill. <clears throat> then you've also, uh, those are pretty much the optimal combos that you want to do after a stamina break. Now I'm going to get into tech. And uh, tech-wise, she actually does have a few things that you can do. For one, she has this. Oh, hold on a sec. He's still on Z-Vanish. Put you on standing, Goku. She has this here. Give me elite combo into a grab. Do stuff like this. Then you also have, uh, then you also have the fact that you can set up cross strain. Set up, uh, I mean, not cross stream, excuse me, double crush. You can set up, you can set up a cross stream after this. You can also set up a cross stream after this. Detect like this. She has a lot of stuff that you can do. That's probably one of my favorite things that you can do right there. You can, of course, also. Uh, hold on, excuse me. Hold on a sec. Hmm. There we go. You can combo into her jump hit if you time it right. She's also got a burst dash cancel right here uh, that you can uh, use, set up a back hit check with. One of my favorite combos to do is this right here. Pretty sick. Then you also have uh, this that you can do. Oh, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. Oh, I did that wrong. Oops, hold on a sec. You can also set up a back hit like that. But the most advanced thing that you can do with her in terms of tech is this. And this is the only way you can set up a key slide with her. You're going to do this combo here. Ah, hold on a sec. 
it's hard. It, it's very hard. You gotta time it perfectly, and you gotta be fast. Oh, okay, my controller's messing up. Lovely. Very my video. Ah. You gotta be very fast. Oh my god, controller, really? There we go. That is uh, pretty much the most advanced uh, tech that you can do with her. And it's the only key slide that I've. Uh, it's the only key slide that I've discovered with her. And uh, with that, that's pretty much it, everybody. Overall, she's a very solid character and has a lot of good combos, good tech, but the most advanced thing that you're going to learn, want to learn with her to even remotely be effective online is this. It just sets up so much pressure. And uh, I actually didn't even mention, mention this, but uh, whenever... Uh, I actually did not even mention this. But if you... Uh, if you look closely, look at how freaking slow your stamina recovers if you get hit by this girl's infinite combos on the ground. Another prime reason why it is definitely worth it to use this move to cancel and continue combos over key cancels. It is just a much better option because key cancels... while effective... look at how freaking fast their stamina comes back compared to... this. It's just such a vast difference in effectiveness. But that's uh, that's pretty much it, everybody. Um, if you like the video and want to see more, like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you want to see more uh, guides like this, let me know in the comment section below or on Discord or on PlayStation. I don't know. Take your pick. And uh, maybe even I, I might even do some uh, I might even do some suggestions. I might even do some some requests for combos and some some requests for characters that nobody really even uses. I, I'm not saying that nobody uses this character, but I'm saying that she for a DLC character, I don't see her used as often as characters like <clears throat> Blue Gogeta. But uh, that's pretty much it, everybody. See you later.